Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to try a crystal edge. And my target is because I want to do the crackle effect that I get a sort of granite effect. So what I did, I have this crystal mass from Molds and Shapes. I cut it in stripes and put it along the edges of my mold. So that's basically all I did. And now I'm starting pouring and I thought I really go with a thin layer of clear on the bottom of my mold. This is actually the round mold, also from Molds and Shapes. And I just make sure that the whole bottom is covered with the clear resin. For this pour I used the Resin Pro, the Art Pro. It's a medium viscosity resin and it has a rather long working time. It's around about 90 minutes, I think. And now I'm mixing my colors. And because I want to have this sort of stone effect from the colors and also for the edges, um, a sort of um, granite effect, I thought I go with the Anthracite. It's a mica from Petra Jungblut. Very beautiful. I, I really love it. It has yeah, a charcoal um, effect with a little bit of silver in there. So I thought this, yeah, this could be perfect. And my second color is the baby's, baby's breath from Laura's Art Corner. And it's giving sometimes a sort of puffy effect, I think, because I used it for flowers and it looked like um, like cream. The, the flower looked like, like a cream, a puffy design. So yeah, like icing, that's the right word. And then I thought maybe for the crackle effect, this would be perfect. It has a silver sheen to it. So I think those two are very beautiful with each other. Yeah, many people maybe noticed already, I, I love to pour in white and gray or black. <laughs> I just sometimes like the um, yeah simple designs, how I call it. Yeah, I'm mixing my white very, very well, so there's nothing left over in from the mica in my resin. And now I'm just pouring Yeah, I think I didn't know what <laughs> what to use first, but I'm going with the white first. I, I was just a little bit irritated. That's the thing when you do voiceovers. Anyway, now I'm pouring around the edge with my baby's breath. And I'm doing this for all coasters, just around. Just go with two terms, but I'm trying not to, to rush with my pouring because then too much resin, colored resin comes out of your cup and then the design doesn't um, stay straight because I also want to have a rather clear center. So you see what I'm doing just carefully. And then I'm using the anthracite and I'm putting this or I'm pouring this on top of my white. Just also two thin circles. I have the cup a little bit up, so not too close to my mold. So it can also push a little bit down. And my last one. Yeah, again, sorry for the noise. I have my window open, it's quite warm, but outside it's, the temperatures are better than inside. So I have my window open. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, there was something in my resin. I'm just taking it out because when I mix my <laughs> colors, there's always falling some powder into my mold. 
now I'm filling up my mold. Please be careful because I um, I cut these crystal um, stripes and they are not 100% on the same level like the mold. So just be careful not to overflow or overload your mold. Otherwise it's just dripping all out. So I was really, really careful. And now I'm just going with the anthracite again, just in thin uh, motions, you see it. So I can go a couple of times around because I still have space in my mold. Doing this for all the four coasters. Actually, with the crystal edge, I was inspired by Petra Jungblut. She um, made her own molds. And um, I loved the idea of the crystal edge. And I thought it's a wonderful idea for the crackle effect. And especially with those um, colors, you get a rather natural edge. Because, yeah, granite yeah, looks like this. But you will see later. <laughs> yeah, now I'm also pouring into the center, into the heart. And I'm also just trying to achieve the crackle effect. But here yeah, I didn't put the stripes in because I think this would be too fiddly to, um, yeah, to cut your stripes and put it in. But maybe I will try it at some point. But I'm not sure what's with a little nozzle. Um, for yeah, for the keychain ornament. So now I'm going again with my anthracite. Because the mold is still not filled up to the top. <laughs> but I'm getting there. But I just don't want the white to take too much over, so that's why I'm pouring more the dark color. And now for my center, I'm using glass cracks, silver glass cracks. I thought that's mixing or matching very, very well. And not any glitter, just, just the silver glass bits. So you see from the colors, it's it's rather simple. It's a simple pour, but sometimes I really think the the yeah the less is more. <laughs> but it's always a matter of taste, of course it is. But I already like how the resin is working, and I hope I have my clear edge, uh, my clear center, not edge. <laughs> yeah, now I'm actually also using a little bit of the white because I still have some, but I'm very careful that I'm really not pouring too much of the white in there because, like I said, I want more the stone optic and not just a white block. So you will see. So... This is actually because it's so warm, around about 12 hours later and I can already demold. They're really um, hard and they're not soft anymore and I can take them out of my mold. It's in the evening and I'm sorry that yeah, the light is maybe not perfect. It's in my room, <laughs> my little room. And yeah, I just wonder how they turned out and if it worked with this little crystal edge you know from the crystal mass from molds and shapes but anyway um i link molds and shapes in my description box as always and if you use promo code pt5 you have five percent discount but there look at the heart isn't it beautiful i like it and now we can or i can not we <laughs> i can get the um 
little in layer out from the edges. I have a tiny bit of an overflow, but I guess this is normal because when I cut it, it was not really in a straight line. So I need to get something where I can cut really straight. But look at that, look at the edge and look at the crackle effect. And I have my clear center, but I love them. So the next one, take my in layers out again and this little bit of overflow. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddling work to get this off, but it's okay. It's really amazing what you can do with such an inlay math. You can create your own designs and look at that. Yeah, it's really like granite at the edges and, and I really love it. And I, the crackle effect is just wonderful. I adore the crackle effect actually. So the next one. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit time. I hope you understand. But I think it's really worth it. It's an easy way to get this effect um, on your coasters. It's really very, very easy. The only thing is you need to get the little in layer out. But also here, look at that. I show you later um, really this effect at the, at the sides. You will see it when I show you my final result. And the last one. And there you go. You, but you see, huh? look at that. I love it. I think it's very, very beautiful. And the last one. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. Just have a look um, yeah, to my final result. So you have also a little bit of a close up. And yeah, thanks for watching. I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel if you not already did. And please leave me a comment what you think and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like my video and there, look at that. Look at that effect. Okay, with this, I love and leave you and thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye-bye.